Well folks, I don't know whether you can see that, but uh, there we go. The wheel on the bus goes round and round, but in the wrong direction. The right direction for me, the wrong direction for Scottish Power. I'm managing to run my meter back because I've just installed a grid time inverter. And uh, it's running off eight 145 watt panels. I'll just nip out and give you a quick show of my system so far. Uh, right, there we have. We've got four panels leaning up against the uh, greenhouse. A quick pan round, and we've got four panels leaning up against the uh, decking. But the best part about it is, we're going to the shed, and here we have the uh, Solar River grid tie inverter that I bought off eBay. Almost brand new, it was a lot um, advertised as used, but uh, there's not a mark on it. Anyway, eight panels, it's not doing great because it's an overcast day, but 270 watts, 208, 290. Anyway, I'm not going to keep up with it, it's going up because there's a wee break in the clouds. Um, but here we go. Uh, that's what I've produced today so far, 0.84 kilowatt hours. Um, that's the voltage that the panels are kicking out, 330 odd. The DC input is at 1 amp. Uh, obviously the AC side's 240 volts and at 1.38 amps. Uh, it's not a great lot for 8 panels but it's not very sunny so uh, anyway yeah so that's my new toy my uh, grid tie inverter lovely piece of kit um, yeah so uh, all in all I think my panels cost me one size swung deals and what have you um, I got a job a lot of them so by the time I sold off some and kept some my eight panels probably cost me in the region of £150 my grid tie, 3 kilowatt grid tie inverter should have been about £800 cost me £150 fantastic I've gone solar on the cheap ok YouTube, cheers, bye